What is going on, my Super Saiyan? Which is Ramstar here, and somehow, some way, for some freaking reason, I'm back with Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. But there's a slight difference. We are playing a Japanese version of the game right over there. Well, right here, and the screen in front of me is right there, all around here. Now, there's two reasons why I don't usually play a Japanese version. The first one being is I can't get stones that easily in this. Essentially, this is my way of controlling my purchases on because to buy stones in a Japanese version, essentially what I have to do is order iTunes cards from like PlayAsia.com, import that, redeem it, and it's just too much work. So that's why I usually stay away from Japanese version. Second reason why I stay away from a Japanese version is because my main account is always going to be in the global version of the game. I like hopping on here every now and then uh, so that I have to spend stones because they do give you a lot of free stones every now and then, which is why I have 35 here that I'm ready to use. And, um... This game is also ahead of the global version, so there's a lot of cool stuff that you can see ahead of time before it gets to the global version. But the, uh, the main reason why I don't like playing a Japanese version isn't the fact that I can't get stone, but it's the fact that I hate it when I pull good cards. You guys were around, well, not all you guys, but I'm sure some of you guys were around when I pulled this bad boy uh, a while ago. And as you guys know, this is who I want in the global version of the game. Pretty badly. I want it really, really badly. And I got it in the Japanese version. I feel like I'm never going to get in the global version, but it taunts me that it's just sitting here in my Japanese account that I don't really use. And and yeah. But uh, the main reason why I decided to go ahead and revisit the Japanese version today is because, like I said, we have stones. But also because there's an increased rate in pulls in this current banner. And I believe it's only going to last for 72 hours or like 70 hours or so. 59 hours actually, excuse me. 59 hours as you can see by the countdown up here. So I figured why not see what happens and hopefully... If we pull some cool stuff, it's not completely amazing. This is weird, me saying that I'm wishing I don't get amazing cards because, like I said, if I get something cool, it's going to hurt me more than it's going to do me good. Now, as far as the scouter, let's go ahead and see what the banner cards are in this current banner. And we got Majin Vegeta, which, by the way, I need a Majin Vegeta because this guy is going to... I don't know if it's going to be this Majin Vegeta or if it's a different one. Uh, but Majin Vegeta is going to get a uh, Dokkan... A, what, what is it called? Um... Another, uh, wait, uh, the LR Awakening, where they get to be like 100, 100 level 120. Uh, along with that, he's going to get a attack that's similar to Broly's, Broly's, where basically he attacks everyone on the screen. Now, unfortunately for us, in the Glow version, we won't get that for a while. But it's cool to see that they're actually adding more characters that have the similar Dokkan-style super attack, like we saw with Broly. So, in this banner, we currently have Majin Vegeta, we have uh, Majin Buu, we have Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, uh, Whis, nothing really new here. Um, but there you have it, you can just get a quick grasp of what you're expecting here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see what we get in here. It's funny, because I was just talking to Theo the other day about what other characters have Dokkan style awakenings, and I didn't know it was just Broly. And it's cool to see they're adding more, because I would love to see other people get it as well. I always felt like the Golden Freezer should have one, just because his super attack literally blows up the planet. So it's like, dude, if he blows up the planet, then... Can that guy not? Can you guys hear that? You probably can't hear that. There's a landscaper who always comes back around every now and then, and it's always obnoxiously loud. And it's like, can you not? Like, this entire time, he was, like, across the courtyard, and now that I'm recording this, he comes here and just screws up my ear. Now, you probably can't hear this, but it screws up my thinking, because I'm trying to focus on commentary while doing these summons. But screw that guy. It's also funny, I, I could have done this, like, 20 minutes ago, and I sat down and I started recording. I got three minutes into my recording before I started summoning, and I really had to poop and I had to cancel to go doo doo and come back and sit down here. I know you guys totally needed to know that information. All right, so first summon we got just Gohan. Nothing that great. Perfect. This is exactly what I'm hoping for. Uh, just don't give me anything good. Don't give me anything good. Also, I, <laughs> this morning I decided. I don't know why I decided it. I decided to uh, get a couple of stones, so I, ooh, rainbow, so I can do a uh, multi-summon, and I got literally the worst multi-summon in the history of multi-summons. I got literally three Bojacks, three Bojacks in one. What do we got? Oh, it's Kit Trunks? Nice. I got three Bojacks in one multi-summon. Like, thanks. Now, granted, it might be kind of cool to max out his super attack, because when a Bojack event comes back, I can turn him into his uh, transform state, which is a pretty badass card. On top of that, it's a strength card, which supports strength cards, I believe. I don't know the full stats, but I've seen it before in my friend list. And it's definitely a card to have, so I guess it's not a complete loss. I'll just wait for that to come around so I can, like, try to Dokkan Awake now. But the fact that I got three Bojacks just hurt me, and I was like, wow, this is literally the worst multi summon of history of all time. So I'm glad I didn't get that in the video. Well, I feel like actually I should have because uh, it probably would have been funny to see my reaction with that, but whatever. Like I said, with Dokkan, I love doing these videos, whether I get good summons or not, just because if I get good summons, then I get super excited. You guys can see the excitement and share the excitement with me. 
Or if I got crappy cards, you can just sit there and point and laugh at my face. Because the point of YouTube is entertainment. And if you're entertained, then I guess I'm doing my job right. What we got? We got... Oh, Goku. We got the Kamehameha Goku. So far, we're only getting uh, pretty crappy SRs from the looks of it. Which is I'm fine with. Remember, I, I was kind of hoping to get the crap in this. I can sleep better at night knowing that you know I didn't get anything good. Which is so weird to say. Alright, let's go ahead and just get right into the next one. We have four summons left, including this one, and then after this one's gonna be three, and we're almost through the finish line. I feel like if I can cross the finish line without getting anything good, I'll be happy. Because if I get something good, it's gonna hurt me so much. <sighs> please don't, please don't hurt me. Also, I did another uh, summon yesterday when I was just laying uh, laying down when I woke up, and I got the uh, SSR Vegeta, the one that's like this. Uh, what do we got? Oh, Kamido Kai. That's nice. Um,. The one that's like this, the, the one that the uh, int type that has the ability, where well, I think it's like plus seven percent uh, damage for every single purple key you get, or purple key or rich you get. So it's pretty cool, actually. It's a pretty decent card. I actually already maxed it out. I'm about to um, awaken it, Z awaken it, to, so you can get to level one hundred and be a UR. Uh, and I might use that, maybe I don't know. But it's cool to see. I finally got an SSR. You didn't get the reaction uh, that you know you usually would get if I'm doing this in front of a video, but uh, at least I got an SSR. At least I got an SSR. Alright, here we go. We have uh, three left, and so far we're doing great. So, to those who uh, are doing this banner, or did this banner by the time this video is up, uh, let me know your uh, explanation of what actually this banner stands for. Like, is it just SRs at least or higher, or is it like just overall increased rates? Because I'm curious to know, because so far I've gotten all SRs in this, and I've not gotten any Rs, which is a banner of my existence in a global version, but I would love to know what the actual banner here is. What is this? Why get a rainbow for freaking Bobbity? Ugh, oh, that's disgusting. You disgust me. Even when there's increased rates, it's funny because I want bad cards, but even when there's increased rates, I'm still getting literally, utterly crap in freaking, mm, just freaking game. Yeah, oh, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Just got out of my face. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do the last two, and then we should be good to go. And I can sleep easy at night knowing that I used up these stones, didn't let them go to waste while there was a pretty decent manner going around. Let's go! Go Super Saiyajin. Super Saiyajin. As always, if you've been doing summons, specifically this Japanese Dokkan summon, comment below what you pulled. If you're just stuck in the global version as well, then um, let me know what you pulled in that as well. I would love to know what the rest of the, rest of the community is getting. Why am I getting literally awful crap? Oh my gosh. You know, part of me, when I say I want crap, you know, part of me kind of wants to get something good too. It doesn't have to be amazing, but it can be something decent. So I'm not like, I'm not like completely just dying with my luck right now, because this is wow. Okay, all right. Something I wanted to say though is, uh, the reason why I like to do these Dokkan videos is, yeah, they can get pretty expensive. Yeah, I can spend anywhere between $6 or $7 to $20 to even 40 bucks the other day. And, uh... I can get crap, I know. But most of the time, mostly I do these summon videos because they're fun, they're entertaining. Whether I get good pulls or bad pulls, everybody has a good time. You just come here, you kind of enjoy. Uh, you let me know what you guys pull. That's the whole purpose of these Dokkan videos. It's not nothing to be like super serious, super uh, like, like I need this style of video. It's just kind of like, you know, come hang out. We'll do some summons and have a good time. Either you can watch me cry or, you know, jump in excitement when I get something good. So that's why I do these Dokkan videos. That's the whole point of these Dokkan videos. Uh, some of the videos because they're just enjoyable, they're fun. That's why if I spend anywhere between six dollars to even forty bucks, I'll take the L because at the end of the day it becomes a lot of fun. Everybody enjoys it. I see you guys on Twitter and the comments everywhere. You guys enjoy doing these me doing these videos, like hanging out with me when I do these videos. So that's why I do this, and I'm always gonna keep doing them until you guys say, you know what, no more Dokkan. Which I know someone's gonna comment that like the rhyme style don't do this. This is bad for your health. It's fine. We're all having a good time, man. That's all that's important. So. So I want to kind of toss that out there. I mean, if you've been watching my Dokkan videos for the last couple, I don't know, weeks, uh, do you have fun? If so, let me know what you're thinking. Let me just know your overall opinion in terms of Dokkan videos in general, because I've been doing a lot of them recently. And Zarbon! Freaking Zarbon! On top of that, it's, it's the ugly Zarbon. This guy just followed me from the global version of the game. From the global version of the game. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the, the kind of reactions that I'm talking about. Freaking, freaking Zarbon. Oh my gosh, okay, alright, well I'm glad I spent those stones without getting anything good, I kinda got my wish, so I'm satisfied, I can now go back to the other version of the game and enjoy my life. And you know what, I'm actually going to do that, and we'll be right back. 
All right, so the reason why I decided to hop into the global version of the game is because I wanted to show you my uh, Vegeta card that I was talking about. Also, by the way, I'm rank 130. If you guys didn't notice, last time I did a video, I was rank 100. And that's because if you go into the regular quests uh, today, actually, by the time this video is up, the event's over, there actually is a 3 XP or 3x XP uh, promo going out. So if you do any quest, you get three times the experience. So if you go into the Unknown Saiyans quest stage and scroll all the way down to the wayward champion which is this one right here where you fight uh jackie chun you get a bunch of xp and essentially if you sit down here for about an hour we can rank up by like 10 20 points depending on how hard you grind so that's basically what i was doing the other thing i want to show you guys was if i go to my character list this is the vegeta that i was talking about where are you vegeta. oh by the way success success this is a success story look at that where, where, where are you where, where, where's the thing at where's the thing at what am i blind am i blind where's the thing at why don't i see uh there we go max Max it out. I spent some time this week uh, getting all the mecha freezes, which was a pain. Uh, and I finally do kind of involved him into a golden freezy pop. And this is the Vegeta I was talking about, that one. Um, pretty cool to get him, actually. And he has a pretty good uh, passive ability as well. If you Oh, 15%, not 7%. Um, which is cool, because technically you can nuke this guy if you set it up properly, which is something I kind of wanted. So I'm kind of glad that I pulled that Vegeta. But yeah. Um, so that's it. That's today's summon video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like right below. Any questions, comments, feedback, you know how it works. Send me feedback on the Dokkan videos in general because I want to see how many guys actually have fun here. Uh, whether I get good summons or bad summons. On top of that, let me know what you pulled in the past week or so as well. But yeah, for now, that is everything. By the way, one more note before I end this video. I know I'm kind of dragging this out at this point. I do want to point out that the Hachiak event is going to be coming to Global fairly, fairly soon. Which I'm excited about because there's a bunch of rewards here. On top of that, it's just uh, it's going to be a different, unique way to play this. I mean, this is already available in, in the Japanese version a while back, but uh, we finally get this in the global. Now I love seeing us, the global version, kind of catch up or not catch up, but move forward and closer to where Japan is with their version of the game. So that's kind of cool. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like down below. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop me a comment. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Rhyme Style, and I will see all you awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.